All right, so last but not least in my decluttering series is going to be my palettes. I have a lot and actually some more that I still need to add to the collection. So let's get started. All right, so here are all the palettes. Let's start brainstorming and getting rid of some. First up, we have the Naked on the Run palette. It's basically some eyeshadows, a highlight blush, bronzer, it brought a lip gloss, eyeliner, and a mascara. Has a really large mirror, great for traveling, but I really don't reach out for this, so I'm going to be giving it away to friends and family. Ofra palette, this is basically a metallic palette I've been actually meaning to buy the Z palette so I think I might get rid of these eyeshadows and give it to friends and then keep the palette that way I could add my makeup geek shadows here um, because I don't really reach out for these shadows and I want to start using my makeup geek shadows that I mentioned on my eyeshadow decluttering video um, so I might do that let's see I'll put it in my maybe pile Anastasia glow kit I love this is one of my favorite highlights right here so I'm definitely keeping it. Moving on with the Laura Geller Detectables shadows. These are some beautiful eyeshadows. I love Laura Geller eyeshadows so I'm keeping it for sure plus I haven't really used it that much so I want to keep using it. Chocolate Bar from Too Faced also a really great palette and it smells delicious so I'm keeping it. Most of these are so dirty man. NYX the go-to palette. I love the highlight in this so much. It's so beautiful and then the eyeshadows the green one is also one of my favorites the gray one is beautiful as well i'm going to keep it just because it's a really great overall palette especially since it is a drugstore and i can make some looks with this l'oreal palette lip this is the nude lipstick palette i don't really reach out for this i've only swatched the this one right here it's a great palette but i am going to be getting rid of it and give it to friends and family meat matte nude palette this is probably one of my first palettes and it's pretty jacked up the mirror up here is broken but it's one of my favorites i love it so much this is one of the best palettes especially because they're all matte so I am definitely, definitely keeping it. That's a single lash. Great, great individual lash. Charlotte in the Bloom. I also have the original right here. I love the Sue so much, especially the original. That one broke, but it's beautiful. I am keeping the original and also the Bloom because it's just up my alley. I really don't reach out for it though that much, but I'm going to definitely make some looks with this. I have two of the Naked palettes, Naked 3 and Naked Smoky, which is the fourth, and they are both beautiful. This one is more of a cool tone palette compared to their other ones. It has some grays, some warm tones right here, and also some just neutrals, brown, nudie, and a beigey color. Love it, keeping it. And then the Naked 3, I absolutely love the packaging, and it's all really pinky tones. That's what it looks like. They all look alike, but they're great. I knew I had another Naked. This one is the Naked Ultimate Basics. It's one of their newest palettes, one of my recent new palettes to my collection, actually. This is what it looks like. I am obsessed with this, guys. Honestly, the pigmentation in all these shadows is amazing. Love this orangey and purpley, and then the black one is also great. That one is great. I just love all of them, so... Definitely keeping it and has a large mirror just like this one that I mentioned earlier. So it's great for traveling. We have some Zoeva palettes. This one, as you can see, is obviously one of my favorites because it's extremely dirty. It has some eyeshadow and some lash glue just stuck everywhere. But that's what it looks like. That black one, bomb.com. The brown one as well. I just really love their eyeshadows. It's so smooth, so pigmented, and just out my alley with the neutrals. So keeping this one is the nude spectrum and then i have the warm spectrum which is actually pretty similar just that this one has more like bright colors like the purple one and the orange and also a green one but it's just as beautiful so i am keeping them because they're hard to get and i love them so urban decay gwen stefani palette this is a beautiful palette especially that blue and the brick brown color Oh my god, so pigmented. Also the gold is actually a beautiful bright gold and the blackout, it's a iconic shadow from Urban Decay, so love it. Keeping it. Not doing as great as I thought, but let's move on. This one is the Vice palette, I believe is their last one or the most recent one. That's what it looks like. Not gonna lie, I was not extremely impressed with it just because I've tried other great, great, great Naked and Urban Decay palettes like the Naked palettes back here. 
and also the Gwen Stefani is also another great one but this one especially the glittery shadows are a little bit chunky but the orange one is beautiful that green one is pretty unique and beautiful as well in general it's a pretty unique palette so I'm definitely gonna keep it and it has a large large mirror a collection palette from Urban Decay it's the Alice in Wonderland looking through the glass that's what it looks like packaging wise amazing it has this little butterfly thing and then the actual palette or eyeshadows are in the bottom that's the only thing I don't like about it, the fact that it, like you have to like slide it down. You know, it's not an actual palette where you just close and open. But this is my absolute favorite shadow from the whole palette. It's like a navy blue or a bright blue. The green one is also beautiful, but it reminds me of the color that's in the Vice palette. It's a really great palette, but I'm going to be getting rid of it because I really don't reach out for it. As they edit palettes, these two actually come together and it's an eyeshadow palette beautiful obsessed with it the pigmentation in this is an a plus love 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 and then we also have the highlight palette i really like it especially the first row and the last row moving on with the Too faced selfie powder i didn't quite understand the purpose of this to be honest with you just because it's supposed to be an overall face powder but to enhance like your pictures and also to make you glow but i just really didn't find the purpose of it so i never reach out to it too much so i'm going to be getting rid of it moon dust palette i mentioned this is going to be one of the best palettes for the holidays it really is just because they're all glittery shades and these glittery shades compared to other ones that i mentioned previously are actually really great glittery shades like they're not chunky they do have some sort of fallout but that always happens with any glittery shade overall you guys know how much i really love this so i am keeping it l'oreal la palette one nude this is a great drugstore palette reminds me a lot of the naked palette but that's what it looks like the pigmentation is also great and they're really smooth as well so i'm going to be keeping it elf prism palette that's what it looks like it's just a pretty neutral everyday palette they're all shimmery shades though but i really like the pigmentation in this i will keep it setting 101 palette from pop beauty this is new to my collection but i've really been liking it it's great for your under eyes or just overall setting your face it's also really lightweight as well so it's great to trap the blush nudes this is a pretty good palette for the drugstore but i got rid of the original as well and i am not i don't reach out for it too much so i'm going to be getting rid of it moving on with the vegas lights palette from makeup geek these shadows are absolutely stunning especially that gold shadow i haven't tried or used any shadow that looks like that it's extremely pigmented it's like ridiculous like, are you kidding me that one is also a pretty unique shade and the brown one is one of my favorites so i'm definitely keeping it another ofra eyeshadow palette this is what that one looks like it has some pretty unique shades starting with that yellow shade some purple green it's pretty, but again, I don't reach out for it, so therefore I'm going to get rid of it. I haven't used it that much, so I'm pretty sure someone's going to find a good use for it. Another Zoeva palette, it has my absolute favorite inner corner shade, which I am surprised I haven't hit pan on. I hope not, but it's a shade called Handmade. It's from their taupe palette. This one shattered on me, but overall it's a really neutral and mauve toned palette nyx contour palette this was my ride or die when it first came out and it broke right here on me that's why i kind of stopped using it this was one of my favorite shades that dark brown also that highlights it's amazing that's a banana shade great for setting under the eye this one is a great for just overall bronzing your face i really like it but i'm going to be getting rid of it pixie blue eyeshadow this one is a beautiful shadow i used it for my harley quinn tutorial I'm going to be getting rid of it because, again, I have many shades like this, so... Marc Jacobs palette. The packaging, first and foremost, is great. I love the colors inside. It's the perfect go-to travel palette. It just has, like, their neutrals, some smoky right here, some neutrals, light ones right here. I love it. I'm going to keep it. Marc from Avon palette. This is another great one, especially because they have such unique colors and all like really colorful. But again, I don't really reach out for it, so I'm going to be getting rid of it. Gwen Stefani blush palette. This is what it looks like. That one right there, OC, is my go-to because it's like a peachy color. That's a beautiful pinky one. But I have so long I don't use this just because I reach out for individual blushes more than a palette. So I am going to be putting it in my collection over here. Two Morphe palettes. The only thing I don't like about Morphe is their packaging, to be honest with you. But this one is the 35. I believe is the original. I'm not so sure. 
that's what it looks like. These are all bright, really unique colors. I am torn between where I should keep it or if I should just get rid of it. But that yellow shade, it's like no other, to be honest with you. That pink one as well. I might keep it just because it's great for Halloween stuff, but I don't really reach out for it. So, and it's also broken. Bummer. And then this one, in the other hand, is the 35O, which was extremely hard to get when it very first came out. That's what it looks like. You guys already know how this looks like. This one shattered on me. Oh wow, great, thanks. This one shattered on me, but overall, it's a really great everyone needs to have kind of palette. So if it's still on sale, go get it. Tardius Contour Palette. I haven't used this much or at all, to be honest with you, but it has a blush to contour shades, a setting one, a highlight one. So I'm going to keep it just so I could try it out and see how I like it and let you guys know. This one is the Laura Geller Holiday Palette. It has the 31 Days of Holidays. That's what it looks like. I love the shades in this and the pigmentation. I really like the formula of Laura Geller Palette um, shadows just because they're pretty unique from anyone. Since they are all baked, so I am definitely keeping this love the packaging as well i'm really not making that much progress these two are from zoeva again they're blushes the coral spectrum and the nude spectrum this one is the coral that's what it looks like pretty bright they look a lot lighter in camera than they do in person that one is an intense coral shade this one is more of my go-to since it is like a peachy it looks nude in there also like this one so I am keeping it and that's what the nude one looks like. These blushes are like every day. I'm not wearing a blush kind of blush, you know? So I'm going to keep both just because they're perfect to travel since they are so thin. I have two NYX Avant Pop, which I really like. I love this one to be specific just because of this green shade right here. It's like the perfect army green shade. Obsessed with it. So I'm going to keep it so I can make some drugstore looks. This one, since I haven't used that much, I'm going to be getting rid of it. Last but not least is a palette that I don't want to get rid of it because it's really special and close to my heart. It's the first palette that I was ever featured on. My name is right here. It has a bunch of other great YouTubers, but it's from the Sola look, the Gracias palette, which was their Thanksgiving like two years ago palette. And I really like the shades. I just never really reach out for it, to be honest with you. Natalia right here, it's a great highlight shade. That's what it looks like. These are so pigmented, intensely pigmented. I'm going to keep it since it does have my name and it's pretty special. And also that way I could keep trying it out and make some looks with it. All right, so for this drawer, compared to the other ones that I've showed you guys up here, I don't have any dividers or anything like that to organize the palette. That's the main reason why I don't really use the palette so much because they're basically just piled up. But I'm just going to clean the drawer a little bit first. Alright, so here's what the drawer is currently looking like. It may not look organized, but I know where everything's at. I keep the highlight palette on top since I use it the most. The two Tarlet, the two Estee Edit palettes, the Soeva palettes, the Nakeds. And then on the back, I keep the glittery and the holiday palettes. And that's what it looks like. And here are the products that I'm going to get rid of from that drawer. I think I did pretty good. I actually decided to get rid of the two Avant palettes and also the Ofra. But I hope you guys enjoy my last decluttering video. Video, subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.